Welcome to the remote wilderness of the Midwestern United States. Come with us as we build a cabin on a journey that would take just over a year. After a smooth first trip down the mountain, we encountered our first issues of the build. The trailer was a bit too wide, so we had to back it up ourselves, reattach it, and then get all the lumber to the build site. Okay, it'll clear the thing. Now I know what you might be thinking, why use these building blocks rather than make a stronger foundation for the cabin? Well in this part of the country, the soil isn't very much soil at all. It's basically just a rock bed full of rock and boulders everywhere you look. And rather than take the time digging it up for hours, we decided just to use these. Now the cabin is only going to be 10 by 12, so it's not massive anyway, and these won't be bearing a ton of weight. After a good night's rest, we got back down to the build site, made sure everything was square, and began to measure where the boards would go. Thanks, baby. <laughs> it was all hands on deck to get this entire process complete, and a journey that would take us all day long, which we did not see coming. Now that our foundation was complete and good and level, it was time to move on to the next part of the build. Today would be a day filled with lots of repetition, making cuts, getting measurements, and building the frame for the wall. A process that was very rinse and repeat.
after two walls were up, that meant we were almost halfway done with today's slate of work. Every red. So now go to 32. Every red square. We continued to rinse and repeat the same process until all the walls were complete. Measure, cut, and screw. Don't mind us. Just hiking up this mountain in the dark. By the next time we were able to make it to the cabin, the winter storm had blown in, leaving dead limbs and even some fallen trees all over the site. Thankfully, none of them landed on the cabin and ruined our progress thus far. But out of precaution, we went ahead and knocked over any dead trees around the site and cleaned up to prepare for the next time we were to build. So we made our way back to the top of the mountain, played some games, and relaxed by the fire in hopes that the weather would improve by morning. But sometimes you don't always get what you wish for. But we made the most of the day by felling some trees in preparations for using the sawmill for our siding the next trip. Right on cue, my chainsaw blade broke and I didn't have a replacement. So, I was going to have to earn fell in these trees the old fashioned way. The snow had gone, but the cold remained. Today's goal was to get the sawmill rolling and cut some 4x4 beams to support our lawn.
I would like for it to have these live edges on some of them now. Yeah, that would be great. And then downwards yes. to where you can see. You think so? I don't cover ice. Oh, that's so good. As you can see, it's going down and it's so much weight on that trailer that it kind of fishtailed and he got stuck up, stuck up against the tree. And it doesn't have four wheel drive back up, only going forward. So it was dug in a hole. So I think we can come up with this Sarah full throttle it in reverse and me and my dad just yank on it with all we got. Thankfully it works, but when we get to this hill right here, it's far too dangerous for us to go down. So we're gonna have to unhook them and carry the logs down one by one and then re-hook it and take it in. Definitely eventful. Um, everything out here is always a challenge, especially when you're carrying serious weight like this down the mountain. So, but we're gonna make it work and we're gonna make it happen. Once we transported all the lumber down to the bottom of the mountain, it was time to get it in position, and now we're ready to begin work on the cabin once again. Before we began to install the loft beams, we decided to give us an extra foot inside of the loft to stand up. So we created a few frames and put them around the top of the base frame around the entire cabin.
rather than having somebody hold this extremely heavy beam on one end and us screwing a hole through it, we decided to use the ratchet strap, make it level, and then just hold it in place and do so. We were able to complete this process pretty fast and get these beams installed. We decided to later come back and install a few more just for some extra support, but for now, it's looking really nice. After quickly installing our next two support beams, it was time to go up to the top of the mountain. Our next project was to mill our support beam and get it installed, a journey that would be quite the experience. After getting the beam where we needed it for the day, we game planned a little bit for tomorrow of what would be a very eventful day. Levi. And Levi was busy at work, just swimming on down the stream. After getting some support posts put into place, it was time for the final push to get the center beam installed for good. Three, two, one, go. 
Okay, I'm on over here. We're on. Okay. okay. Balance it, balance it. I'm not up against it. No, I'm okay. not either. We're up against it. Well, that was sketchy, but we got it done. It's definitely one of the hardest things I've had to do out here because that beam is extremely, extremely heavy. So uh, my mom and dad on that side, I don't know if you can see, but they built little like joists to help push it up. And me and Sarah just hit a nice little chest press and balanced it standing up there. Um, but we got it done, which is the important thing. So that was a thing that was gonna be the big stickler. So I'm kind of glad we got that out of the way. And we're building the last two 90s to put on the other side of it now just to continue to add that sturdiness um, so it won't you know move or anything and then we're going to figure out the angle and start laying those rafters down up there so keep after as the sun continued to get lower the temperatures continued to drop so we just decided to install a few rafters for a little bit of extra support for the center beam and call it a night. And after a good night of rest, it was back to work laying rafters on the cabin. After making quick work of that in the morning, we decided to put these on each end of the cabin to protect the eventual wood that would be there from harsh weather that would eventually come its way. Now that we had installed the 1x6s across the entire cabin, the tin had something to screw onto and it was ready to be installed very soon.
today's plan was to get the tin fully installed and do some framing for the doors and the windows. Okay, so we got the first side up. Um, something cool about these screws, if you're wondering how you like screw screw into the tin without it creating a leak, if you can kind of see, I don't know if this thing will focus. Let me see. To focus. Come on. Is it focusing? No. Okay. Anyway, there's like a, it's almost like a little floaty around this screw. So when it goes down into that tin, it expands out and makes it where water can't get through there. But um, you kinda gotta be pretty precise with it because if you do it too much, it'll expand too much and eventually it cracks when it gets hot or whatever. Um, so you just kinda gotta do it just right, not too much, not 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 too much and not not enough, I don't know. But yeah, so that's how these work if you guys are curious about that. Okay, we just finished framing the first window, as you can see, and uh, looks pretty good. Already got a great view. Now we're just going to go ahead and move on to this next wall because tomorrow we're going to try and put some siding up. So we want to make sure to get this this framing done for this window, so we know, you know, not to cover it with siding. Uh, three more frames to go for the windows, but so far so good. Top one. Top one. Yeah. Need to measure that. We didn't mark below for 36 inches. So where's that?
side or this side? That just, side. Just the knot? Yeah. Just like that, probably. Right now? I guess like that. Yeah, it'd look real nice. And after a long and cold but successful day of work, we decided to wind down the rest of our evening hanging out by the fire and relaxing. some siding on the sawmill first thing in the morning we transported all of the lumber down to the build site and started to install it on the cap. Some time had passed since our last trip to the cabin, and the weather had turned from more of winter to a spring. Our goal now was to be fully focused on the siding, get it done as fast as we could.
After a successful day of repetitious work, we had made some good progress on the siding. down to an old logging site where they had left behind a ton of logs that were just going to waste. So rather than let that happen, we spent the day loading them up and taking them back up to our cabin. Okay, we've got the majority of them loaded up now, or we've got all of them that we're taking up this trip. Uh, so we're about to strap them down and see if we can't get this thing up the mountain. Um, it's going to be a challenge, but I think we can get it done. Over the coming weeks, we worked tirelessly on the siding, rinsing and repeating the same process, board by board, until completion.
one? After completing the siding, we moved inside to work on the cabin for the first time. First on the list was getting the electrical all set up. And after some successful electrical tests, it was time to move on to the next step of the process, which was regulating the inside temperature by installing some insulation. In order to keep all of the insulation safe, we decided to put up some siding so no critters could get behind the wall and tear any of it up. After putting it off for way too long, we finally decided it was time to install the door now that we had begun work on the inside of the cabin.
We got a late start to the next day, but we decided to work into the night so that we could continue to make good progress on the siding and the insulation. The next morning, we were right back to work. All right, so my parents said they left a surprise for us. We're gonna open this puppy up, see what it is. They got up here a bit before us. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this. They got the floor completely finished in here, stained it and everything. Our goal for the day was to get these boards cut to size, run them through the planer, and get them installed on the wall. The next day the goal was simple, finish the trim around the cabin and install the rest of the siding.
Now time to add some warmth to the cabin by installing the wood burning stove. And after two full days of work, the cabin was ready to keep us warm throughout the winter. Over the coming weeks and months, we put some finishing touches on the cabin. Building a ladder that leads to the loft. Obviously making some good food on the stove top. as well as building a front porch and putting some water sealant around the cabin to prolong the life of the wood. Working on this cabin has been one of the more fun and enjoyable long-term things I've got to do over the course of my life thus far. Making memories with friends, families, and loved ones are things that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And I'm so happy that I was able to document this experience and put it all into a video to be able to look back on for years to come. So to everyone who helped out along the way, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're still here, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, y'all take care.